Ow! Ow! Hey guys, this is Malana. Welcome back to uh, Thimbleweed Park. We are with Ransom the Clown right now. So uh, let's 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 kind of just check. I don't want to pick that up. Yeah, let's just check everything he has here. I mm, I remember he has something behind here. Ha <laughs> ha! Not take take everything. Pick everything up. Let's take a look at it. It's my joke book, but there are four pages missing. It's a page from my joke book. It's a page from my joke book. There's a page missing. There are four pages here, so I don't. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back. Got the page. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Well, what was the point of that? Okay. That slop tasted like crap when I made it last week. Maybe it's gotten better with age. The fly larva crawling all over it seemed to think so. No thanks. Better leave it where it is. Always time to do laundry later. Really? I don't want to pick that up. I don't I want to do. take this with me. It's fine where it is. I don't want to pick that up. What's in here? I'll pick this up. It's already open. What, what is that? Hamst hamster? It's okay. Lil Beeper, my pet hamster. All right. Looks very hungry. Lil Beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. Okay. He's probably hungry. Haven't fed him in a few days. Okay. Let's see. So, now get everyone in town to hate me. We have checked that <laughs> Uh, Next is Fee Little Beeper. Uh, try removing makeup again and then collect 15 more specks of dust. P.S. I hate my life and go... Yep, alright. Um. I don't want to pick that up. What a f*** of a f*** still doesn't work. <laughs> Well, it sucks to be you. Well, at least I. Yep, I I've done that. All right, let's get out of here. I can't reach that. It's already. <gasps> hey, this up. Uh. It's my old trampoline. It's too heavy. I can't open that. <gasps> oh, I can push this. Use this. I need to be higher to jump on it. You need to be okay. That's too far to jump from here. Oh, you, 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 you kind of fail. All right, um, push. <laughs> anyway, anyway. That's too. Far to jump from here. Try pulling it. No, what do you? Okay. Um. Can we actually use it now? God damn it. Okay. Yes. Hey. I'm getting off this contraption. Already. Well, anyway, we've done that. Let's get out of here. Let's. Oh, what is this? Popcorn. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. Okay, so I have to put it in something. Is it okay? Well, that's one. Lil B. Okay, two. I can almost half full. Okay, little beeper likes it, I guess. It did say something about little beeper, I think. It's a full bag of popcorn! Yeah! Hey, dust! Can you actually do anything here? <gasps> Walk to hole, there's a hole. Nothing to pick up here. Looks like a rat hole! I can't open that! <gasps> hey!
Can we can we watch it eat? Like I don't know what's the point of it though, but walk to oh there's another hole. Looks like a rat hole. Okay, oh well. More dust. Oh, we have a box. I don't want to pick that up. What is this? It's a box with a crank on it. You use it. <laughs> There's a snake. It's my tube of Coslerex patented anti-itch medicine. Works wonders. Oh my god. Oh. So much for better. Yeah. It's my empty Rants of the Clown swear jar. There's nothing inside but a couple of pennies. Oh, there's a list. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, wow, well, that's a long list. Oh my. Wow. I wonder if these are like Kickstarter people. Sometimes my rhymes just sucks. I'm sad I didn't back this. Else I would have would have had a piece it's the in list here of somewhere. All the it's a shame. Well, the rat didn't eat the cheese, so let's get out of here. Um, let's go see what else is on that side. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. All right. Let's go feed little Beeper. And then we should be able to leave. And then we can use this. Here down. you go, little beeper. Enjoy your crap. Little beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. It's little beeper, my pet hand. All right. So now we can go and collect more dust. And um. If I remember correctly, we have we have this wallet which we can trade for um with that with that oh. guy. What what are you doing? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, it's. Oh, he deserves it. All right, let's get out of here. Use it. Okay, so um, I need to get myself a map, and I have no idea where the rest of the people are. Um, let's go to the hotel because someone's probably at the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> I right. need to stay focused uh... and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. What the? You can't carry this? Oh, shut up, you. Okay, and, um, I think you can go, or, uh, should I just leave rat some around? No, you know what, I think, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring him back to town, and then he can go to, was it here? Is it near Quickie Pal? Is it south? Whatever. Let's see. We will find out. Uh, I don't think it's here. No, it's not. Um, here? How is it? Is it here? Okay, no, it's not. Jeez, I, I, I suck at finding my way around town. Well, I will have to do it the old-fashioned way and just walk around until I find one. I think it's up, oh, but it's a yes. <laughs> it's up at A Street. Yeah. I should talk to people around here. Have as you well. seen my dime? Hey. You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. So I guess we both look like. <laughs> Aww. Let's see. Will you do me a favor? I'll do almost anything for a dollar. I'm gonna ignore that line because it's too easy. 
But next time someone gives you some cash, can you pick up one of those pine tree car fresheners and hang it around your neck? You smell like... I don't really blame you for drinking. Oh, you don't? Nah. With your ugly face, I drink every time I pass the mirror. Oh, God. <laughs> You're one to talk. You got any booze to spare? If I did, it would cost you. To be honest, I think you should be offering a drink to the poor f to got to look at you. How else will they get through the day? You know, I may be a bum, but at least I'm not an... You got any ransom swag? Oh, did he just stop talking to him? Stop talking you to him? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. So I guess we both look like... All right. You always hated Chuck Edmund, right? I, I, I don't talk about that. Well, I hated the too. Really? Yeah, that arrogant snob thought he was too good to make my toys. Canceled the most lucrative deal of my life. We're the only people in town who didn't want to kiss his ass. No, there was definitely something wrong with that man. Yeah, it's too bad his milk toast little of a brother Franklin had to vanish. He wanted to make the dolls, because he knew a good deal when he saw one. Dumb Chuck would rather the factory stay dead than make the toys. The stubborn. And you can bet if I ever find Franklin, I'll wring his scrawny neck for bailing on me. <laughs> oh, beep off, beep you. I think I left the hot plate on. Gotta run. I think I left my hot plate on. Gotta run. All right. Um, let's give him this. Thimbleweed Park guided tours. Here's a wallet with my picture on it. What? I, I don't know. Will I get the the old one that that I want? I don't know. Let's see. Um. Hey. Here's a new wallet with my picture on it. Ah, oh, ransom the clown wallet. Thanks. Here's my old one. What am I gonna do with this piece of? It's okay. I have stuff that I want to do. Hey, how about this? Do you want this? You got any uh, secondhand crystals? All right, let's go in here. No way am I going in there. She is a crazy, a vengeful witch. <laughs> uh, you got any loose change? I'm just gonna walk around town and insult people today, cause it's awesome. It's an empty roll of tape. Empty? Really? Did we really take all the tape? It's all out of tape. All right, let's talk to this guy. Ransom, what are you doing here? The latest issue of Humongous Honka Honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. <laughs> oh, you, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? How do you not go to post to work? Uh, what? All right. How do you not go postal working at this hole? Hey! We don't use that sort of terminology around here. What are you going to do about it? Shoot me? Job-related stress is no laughing matter for us high-level government agents. You think mailmen are high-level government agents? Definitely. I'd say this job is the most prestigious government position of them all. You do realize you're basically a pizza delivery man. Except worse, because you never bring any pizza. Well, that just shows what you know. Why are mailmen so great, then? The whole world would fall into chaos without me and my boys in blue. The feds wouldn't get their intel, people wouldn't get their paychecks or bills. The economy would fall into chaos, people would starve. I hold people's lives in my hands every day. Mailmen are the god Hermes incarnate, Ransom. Huh? Don't you see? You're nuts, George. <laughs> All right. Got any more of those awful jokes? Oh, I got some doozies for you. Did you hear the one about the unstamped letter? <laughs> Does that letter tell you? No, you wouldn't get it! <laughs> that was terrible. What if, what if I actually answered the right Play one? Play another bad joke on me, face. Okay, you'll love this one. 
Why can't you mail a boomerang? Huh. I guess I already told you that one. Oh. <laughs> All right, I got a joke about the postal office. I got a joke about the post office. What's the difference between a dog and a mailman? I don't know. The dog knows how to bring you the mail. That's very disrespectful to the United States government mail handling officials, Ransom. Get bent. Want some more postal humor, delivery dweeb? What's the best thing about being a postman? Uh, serving your country. Wrong. The answer is nothing, because your job is dog Count to ten, Georgie. Go to your happy place. I got another joke, Parcel Porker. What do your wife and the average post office customer have in common? Ransom, you are treading on wafer thin ice, bucko. You've never satisfied either one of them. Oh, snap. Ransom, I suggest you leave for a oh. while. I would hate for you to become another statistic. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Whatever, postal nerd. <laughs> well, Ransom, you are definitely pissing everybody off. What can I do for you, Chuckles? Oh, and he f totally forgot about it. All right. God, postal nerd. See ya, Ransom. Actually, let's ask him about the last joke. What can I do for you, Chuckles? Let's see if he actually has Give the Give me joke. another crappy joke, letter dork. This one is my favorite. I don't know if I can get through it without laughing. <laughs> Why did the post office clerk get called into the manager's office? Because he... No, because... Because... Because he filled out Section 4E Appendix B of Form 2265 instead of Section 4B Appendix E of Form 2625! Okay. That's All right. not even a joke, you glorified letter jockey. <laughs> Seriously, George, get some now. <laughs> God, postal nerd. Oh. See ya, Ransom. Poor it's already Georgie. closed. All right, Ransom. Let's go hassle this guy. Open. What? What is this? Have it? He wins. One million dollars. In quickie. Lucky number 27. I see. Uh, let's talk. Ransom, what brings you here to darken my day? Finally gonna give me the scoop on your career meltdown? You, tabloid hack! Why the f*** are you so interested in my story? I think it would make a great human interest piece. People love stories about washed up former celebrities. Not to mention it gives you a chance to get back in the limelight. Oh, let's, okay, let's do it. Okay, let's do the interview. You won't regret this. I doubt it. So, Ransom, a few years ago, you seemed to be at the top of your game with a successful career. Then out of nowhere, you publicly crashed and burned, your former life suddenly a flaming wreckage. Tell our readers in your own words why your career hit the skids. Because my uh, politically correctness, people got tired, I made a bad choice then. Because my, I'm going to be as mean as possible, which is the meanest. Yeah. Because my audience read your rag of a paper. It lowered their IQ so much they couldn't appreciate good comedy. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize people needed a PhD to understand the nuance of fat jokes and cuss words. Moving on. A question I would love for you to answer is, why don't you take off your makeup? Are you just a committed performer or a performer who needs to be committed? All right. Now, what's a good insult? Honestly, I can't take the dub up. Okay, it reminds me of better days. I don't need to explain my art to these plebes. Why don't you stop talking out of your <laughs> Why don't you stop talking out of your ass? Some things people just can't seem to do. Nice. Let's talk about happier times now. <laughs> Tell me about one of the highlights of your career. All right. No comment making people laugh, probably winning. Tonight's show, having enough money to do whatever, yeah. Having enough money to do whatever the f I wanted. Having enough money to eat caviar out of a supermodel's belly button while Yo-Yo Ma serenaded me on my own jet flying to a private island in the Bahamas. 
Nice. Having enough money that my coke habit made Scarface look like a casual user. Lovely. <laughs> Moving on. I heard rumors around town that you were planning to get a line of ransom dolls made. What happened there? All right, no comment. There were a lot of issues. I guess dolls weren't marketable. That bleep chuck happened. The only little ransom I care about. Oh, yes. The only little ransom I care about is in my pants. <laughs> I can introduce you if you like, sweet cheeks. Oh, As I'm sure little is the operative word, I think I'll pass. <laughs> Let's move on. Seems you have little to keep you here in Thimbleweed. Why did you stay? See, like the first one is like the ultimate insult. It's awesome. Uh, this depot needs me, it ain't so bad here, nowhere else to go. The Freak Show Town is a gold mine of inspiration for my act. Freak Show... Uh... Yeah. This Freak Show Town is a gold mine of inspiration for my act. It's the perfect place to hone my craft. Let's face it, I'm definitely not here for the hot babes. Yeah, charming. So, Ransom, any big regrets? If you could go back. Would you do things differently? <laughs> I want to talk to you for a start. Oh my god. I want to trust the wrong people and I got no regrets. I got regrets, I mean. I regret near damn near. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't talk to you for a start. <laughs> Other than that, uh, probably marrying my ex wife. Not more groupies when I had the chance. Not wasting more money on hookers and blow. I'll tell you something, dollface. It's not easy snorting coke through this clown nose. Ugh, I think I regret asking you this question. <laughs> Finally, Ransom, do you have any big plans for the future? Um, I'm not sure. I'll probably involve a lot of groveling. Hard work, pay my dues, gotta get a little back. Plan on you coming back to my dad's like, sexual insult. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm just gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it all back. You can't keep a comedic genius like me down forever. I'll get the funding for my dolls somehow, and then I'm out of this backwater hick town. I think I speak for everyone in town when I say, good luck with that. I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you for your time. I'll let you know when the finished piece goes to print. Sure. Whatever. That's sick, awesome. Ransom, what brings you here to darken my day? Finally gonna give me the scoop on your career meltdown? F*** you, tabloid hack. Okay. Nat the Rat. Done any real journalism lately? Or are you still interviewing the Pigeon Brothers about the record-breaking hair clog they snaked from the diner sink? Scintillating stuff, doll. If you came here with a scoop, take a seat. If you came here to mock, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Ah, uh, I think that's it, right? Let's try this again. Nat the Rat. Done any real journalism lately? Or are you still interviewing the Pigeon Brothers about the record-breaking hair clog they snaked from the diner sink? Scintillating stuff, doll. If you came here with a scoop, take a seat. If you came here to mock, don't let the door hit you on the way out. I think I left my All right, hot plate nothing. On. Gotta run. Okay, let's go talk to another guy somewhere. Uh, what else? Where else can I go? Oh, I can go check out the food place. Yeah. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. Uh, you can't legally refuse service because I'm a clown. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hey, Ransom. Shut up, Dave. Just order your food and get lost. Okay. I'll have greasy crap burger. Give me a greasy crap burger with extra heart attack. We're not serving hamburgers until our hot dogs are gone. Now get lost. I'll take some rabbit food salad. We're all out of that. Now get lost. What the hell is Schweinschachs? We're all out of that. Now get lost. Do you actually have anything? I'll have the thimbleberry pie. We're all out of that. Now get lost. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... 
I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap, and I oughta know. I, uh, gotta go. <laughs> oh, jeez. I feel better now. I don't know. Can I think there's enough hot dog for everyone? Like, like. We interrupt um, our hostile takeover. Wait, Non-stop music four? with this important message. Well, I don't think. I don't think Franklin Fluoride can eat any. Fluoride is a conspiracy any, but... to brainwash your. Yeah. I really want some thimbleberry pie. We're all out of that. Now get lost. All right, so let's get out of here. I'm not really hungry, and I'm glad I could waste your time. Now get lost. So yeah, it seems like any everybody can eat a piece of hot dog. Um. Well, that is that. That's all I have for Ram, Ram, Ramson, I guess. So let's bring. I think she didn't have. I a... need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Yeah, she didn't eat a hot dog yet. Let's see. What about you? I think he did. I have one, two. What am I missing? Let's see. I am missing the blood the item. Oh, suspicious item with blood. And then get the blood thing. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Blood. What can I get blood with? Wait, let's see. Oh! Oh, I got the tissue thing. Oh, I just need the wallet! Okay. Uh, let's see. You. You should go and find Ransom the Clown. And how do I do this? Let's use this and go to. Let's just go to the main street, everybody. Yep. Everybody just hang out at the main street. And, uh. Hey, you! Um, let me give you this. Thanks. Okay. And you can. Go in here and get that report. All right. All right. Where is it? Use this on that. Yeah, the last one. Perfect. I can't open that. Take it. Now I have all three, and then now I can actually go upstairs and use that that thing. Come on, speed up. All right, and now we can use this on that. It doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't seem to be working. What? Give, give then. Okay, give this to that. Give this to that. What? Insert three reports from the Blotron 3000 Fingertron 3000 and Facetron 3000 into the Arrestron 3000 yeah, to issue exactly. an arrest warrant. I don't want to pick that up. I can't put. I can't pull that. I can't open that. That doesn't seem to close. It doesn't seem to be working. Put three reports into that thing. Missing. What's a Arrestron 2? What, what are you talking about? Arrestron. Oh, oh, this thing is busted. Okay. Okay, so I can't do anything here. So, well, you, I don't think you had a hot dog yet, so I think you should go and eat a hot dog. And hot dog is, oh, where's the hot dog? Main Street South? Yeah, all right. Go, have a hot what dog. What can I do for you, honey? I would like... I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Hot dog. I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Okay. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. <laughs> oh, everybody's gonna go throw up at the back. This is this is awesome. Um. <laughs> Nasty. Oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I uh, gotta go. You should drink some fluids. I feel better now. Good for you. 
All right, so, uh, S. Pigeon Brothers, Plumbing, Electrical, and Paranormal Investigations. We don't monkey wrench around. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. Okay, well, anyway, I think, I think that's it for today. And, um... Uh, let, let me let me check Franklin again. I don't think he can do anything, cause he 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 yeah he cannot do anything. So um, yeah, that was all. That's all for today. We had a great time with uh, the clown. I need to collect more dust, but whatever. I've done everything else. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And next time I, I think I think next time I am going to go to. Dolores. I have to go talk to Dolores. So yeah, next time we're heading off to Dolores. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye.